Yo, what's the deal, yo? For really though, this is the Encozy Show. We're about to jump right into this thing right after this. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Encozy TV, where we talk about self development, the law of attraction, music, and some things related to Africa. All right? Listen, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, or share on any of the episodes that you encounter on this channel. All right? And don't forget to come over to Patreon and join our family for insider updates, life coaching sessions, and networking opportunities. See you soon. Um, I want to jump right into this thing today, man. This is a subject that definitely needs to be talked about here in Gambia. You know, um, I'm going to first start off with what happened to me last night. Okay. So I'm on my way to the bakery um, and to handle some other errands and so forth uh, last night or yesterday evening, rather. Uh, on my way down the street, the, a car pulls out going around us. Now, I want you to picture this. Now, the car pulls out. I'm in a 1010 in a van. The car pulls out and, and instead of going around us on the street, goes around us on the side walkway, right? He had to be doing about 70 miles per hour. So we see him speed around us and run right into three women. I mean, one lady had a baby on her back. The other two ladies was just walking. There was literally no time for the car to, to turn. Now, this is a truck. This is like a six-passenger truck doing 70 miles per hour, you know, trying to overtake us, but not going you know, on the other side where the street is, but going on the side where the walkway is. Didn't see the women, and by the time he seen them, it was too late. Hit the women, drug two ladies all the way out into the road, into the middle of the street. So needless to say, we stopped, and uh, it was very traumatic for me, man. You know, I wanted to jump out and help, and I eventually did, but first I had to get myself together because I didn't know what I was going to see. I didn't know whether I was going to see somebody dead, you know, um, or what. So the first lady, uh, one lady crawled out of the middle of the street. The other lady was still there. She laid there. I didn't know whether she was dead or what. You know, me and a couple other guys picked the lady up. We brought her out the street, you know, and um, she was still breathing. She was still alive, but she was severely hurt. Um, her leg was broken. The bone was sticking right up out of the skin. And I don't mean to be very graphic, but, you know, um, I'm bringing this up, man, for a reason, man. You know, because what I want to talk about is it's ridiculous, man, how these drivers and this driving situation at Gambia, man, is crazy. It's bananas, man. You know, so we pull the lady out, you know. The, the car that hit her, man, he pulled him out in the street and kept going all the way to the other side and hit a tree, right? I wanted to, man, I wanted to beat the crap out of that dude because he probably had nowhere to go, you know. Um, nobody's ever in a hurry in Gambia, so he probably didn't have nothing important to do, man, just driving fast, you know, and not paying attention, you know, and being patient. So, you know, that's what I want to talk about, man, how ridiculous it is, you know, um, this driving situation, you know, and people can get mad at me, you can get upset, you can uh, unsubscribe, un, uh, 
You can do whatever the crap you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But I've got to speak about this, man, because it's crazy, you know? And so um, needless to say, they put the ladies in the truck, you know, in another truck, you know, and rushed them to the hospital. You know, I didn't know who they were, so I don't know how they doing and whether they made it or what. But I was just left traumatized, man, because, you know, if, if it ain't, you know, first of all, let me say this. You know, when I first bought a car here in Gambia, you know, I was excited, man, because I was like, I could get around everywhere I need to get around. You know what I mean? But then when I start seeing how many times, man, I came close to having car accidents after car accidents, not because I wasn't driving responsibly, but because it was cash driving with no headlights at night. You know what I'm saying? On the wrong side of the road. You know, I mean, all kinds of different things, man. People speeding through crowded areas, you know, don't have no respect for people. It's like they respect the car more than they respect the people. The people just got to jump out of the way and, and, and get out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Then you got all kinds of craziness going on. You know, somebody pull in front of you, you know, and they in the wrong. And if you say something, then they want to they want to curse you out you know, and jump out the car, start a fight, you know, and they the ones in the wrong. It's crazy, man. Needless to say, these uh, these uh, motorbikes, man, you know, um, I remember, you know, when I had my car, you know, um, I was pulling into a gas station. I had to stop in the middle of the street and I looked in my review mirror, checked everything. I'm getting ready to turn and right as I turn, you know, a, a, a motorcycle, Got to be doing 70, 80 miles per hour, man. Hit my front end and slid 17 feet in front of me. Skint his behind up like crazy. And I wasn't happy to see that. But, you know, he didn't even have on a proper gear. Then he want to get up and try to fuss and argue with me like it was my fault. And I'm like, dude, man, first of all, you shouldn't be speeding like that. Secondly, you know what I'm saying? I looked through my rearview mirror and checked everything. So you had to be going, you know, very, very fast. Anyway, you know, there are a lot of other things that I can I could say. You know, I mean, I remember driving down the street and seeing a BMW completely turned over and crashed, I guess, from the night before. You know, um, I even seen a, a, a car accident that had already happened, but the people was dead inside of the car. So, you know, I did a little research and I started, you know, really realizing, man, how high the death toll is for accidents here, man. You know, and it's because people can't drive. They're not even uh, trained properly and tested properly to drive. You know, you can, you can, you can, man, I hate to say this, man, but it's, it's you know, it's like these people, man, you can, you can, you can give enough money. You know what I'm saying? And get you a license without having to take a license test, you know, or, or anything. And I'm saying, man, it's getting dangerous, man, which is why I sold my car. I sold my car because I didn't feel safe driving. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking 10 tens. I don't really feel safe in the 10 tens. And now, you know, it's like it's I don't even feel safe walking because these ladies, man, they, they walk into their house. You know, probably talking and enjoying each other, not even thinking, you know, uh, you know, nothing crazy like that was going to happen. And, you know, and then next thing you know, you out in the middle of the road feeling pain because somebody who was impatient, you know, decided to not overtake on the highway part, but overtake on the walkway part. How crazy is that? You know what I'm saying? It's crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to talk about this, man, because it's. It's, it's something that needs to be done. Now, to me, you know, Gambia is working on the roads. You know, they widening the roads and they're making the roads better and so forth. But I'm like, man, you know, what's the sense of making roads? It's just going to be more room for people to drive like they want to drive, you know, and put lives in danger. You know, I remember going to work one time. I seen a dump truck, you know, run off the road and run into a business, knock the whole wall in, knock the door off the hinges, you know? And it's like, I don't know what's gotta be done, man, for the streets to become safer. 
But, you know, this is the only thing that I know to do, man, to bring some level of awareness. You know, I understand some Gambian officials are watching, you know, the show. So, you know, I want to I want to bring this to the forefront, man, and let y'all know, man, something's got to be done about this, you know, because um, it's, 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 it's starting to not be safe to even walk on the streets of Gambia, you know, let alone drive, man. So, you know, I just want to put this out here, man, because it's something that needs to be looked at. You know, I don't even know who to contact, man, that could do anything about it or whether they even care. But, you know what I'm saying? It's it's like, it's getting ridiculous, man. It's bananas, you know? So I wanted to speak on this, man, because um, it's ridiculous, man. It's it's getting ridiculous, you know? Um, so, man, let's, let's, you know, those of you all that's walking these streets, I'm talking about Gambian, Canadian, Jamaican, whoever you are, man, be safe, be aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Even when you're driving, be aware of your surroundings. Cause you know, I mean, we just two days into the new year, you know, and I know them ladies, man, they, they, you know, I don't know if they made it or not. I know they were alive when they left, but you know, just two weeks into the new year, you know, and they could have lost their life, not doing anything to anybody, just walking home, you know, because of some crazy driver. You know, somebody that's not responsible behind the wheel of a vehicle. So look, man, y'all be safe. You know, when you go into the store, man, look both ways before you cross the street. You know, all kinds of things. One last thing, man. Um, I was down at a turntable and there was a, a motorcycle guy. He's speeding, man, speeding through that place. Y'all know how crowded for those that are in Gambia. You know how crowded a turntable is. This dude is speeding through, uh, not on the street, but on the side because, you know, cars are in the street. And this joker ends up hitting uh, 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 what looked like to me an eight-year-old, nine-year-old girl. Man. Knocked her clean off her feet, hurt the girl. You know what I'm saying? Because he's speeding through that. These things are ridiculous and they are nonsense. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, again, I don't know what I could do other than make this video and, you know, at least make the ones that are walking and riding tin tins and driving aware of what's going on in these Gambian streets, man, so y'all can be safe, you know, and hopefully nothing happens to you, you know, or you don't get into no accidents, man, but some got to change, man, you know, this is in Cozy signing off, man, like, subscribe, you know, comment, you know, uh, push the notification button, all that good stuff, man. You know, we're going to keep it rolling with episodes, all right? Salute. Yo, what's up? Welcome to Cozy TV, where we talk about self-development, the law of attraction, music, and some things related to Africa, all right? Listen, feel free to like, subscribe, comment, or share on any of the episodes that you encounter on this channel, all right? And don't forget to come over to Patreon and join our family for insider updates, life coaching sessions, and networking opportunities. See you soon.